Hey everyone, welcome back to Ayaz Tech. Have you ever wondered how to create those sleek modern looking cards that you see all over the web? Well, you are in the right place. Today we are diving deep into the Tailwind CSS to show you the step by step how to design and implement your very own cards. Whether you are a beginner or just looking to polish your skills, this tutorial has got you covered. So let's jump right in. Currently, I have very simple Tailwind CSS project that I have prepared here in my VS code and it has nothing but simple index.html with the CSS file attached with it uh, that is in the dist folder and with the hello world h1 tag and also I have the input.css in the source directory and also we have a package.json with the command run in it that we will use to run the Tailwind CSS compiling in runtime in in watch mode and also we have a very basic simple tailwind.config.js file so first of all let's start the Tailwind CSS script that we have in the package.json so this is just a simple script you can run it manually as well by uh, running it directly but I would be using npm run run Okay, now Tailwind CSS is running in the watch mode. After that, I will run my index.html in the browser. So right now you can see it is a simple hello world. Now we will start designing our card. So first of all, I will <coughs> add a div. And div will have a rounded border. <coughs> And we can decide that how much roundness we want. So, for example, I want to excel. Okay. And after that, we want to add an image. So, let me add image here, source. And I am going to pick this image that I already have in my root directory. Okay. Now I will limit its width of its parent by adding width maybe 32 p 32. Uh, this is too less, so let me try to use a larger width. If you want custom width, you can just <coughs> just add the square bracket and add, for example, 400 pixels in this way. And I also want to have it in the middle. For that, I will add class to the body. Or you can also create a new parent of your main div. Add flex and add width full. And justify center. <coughs> and py should be 11. All right we added rounded but rounded is not working the reason is that <coughs> the image has uh, we did not add the rounded on the image so in order to fix that we need to add overflow hidden so you can see that now there is a border rounded feature after that i'm going to add a heading here h1 okay you can have whatever you want here now i will add some padding for the content so for that i will create a div and in that div i will add a class p 10 maybe i think 10 is too much so let's try 7 and the font size should be more than what we have by default text excel okay now i want to add the font bold on the heading okay uh, i also want to change the color
and there is too much padding so maybe i should try five instead of that and after that i want to add a paragraph below that for that add p tag and i will add a dummy text and also i would like to add margin bottom below the heading so for that add mb5 okay uh I also want to uh, change the text color for the paragraph for that I would use text text gray and maybe 500 uh, or let me try 7 I think this is fine now I would like to add some box shadow around this my container for that I would add shadow you can def uh, select the intensity of the shadow like uh, medium large extra large something like that okay you can now see the uh, shadow around my card further i would like to add some padding bottom for that i would say i would i would like to add more padding than what we have right now below so for that i would try maybe py seven and or maybe let's just make it seven and in that case we don't need this one okay after that i would like to add uh, some other interesting things for example here i would like i would like to add a list of tags so div and here i would add hash uh, photography and I will give it some styles like rounded 3xl and BG should be gray of this shade and padding should be maybe 4 and text should be gray and that should be the dark gray so maybe this one and now i want to add flex and gap of maybe six okay i want to make it further around so for that maybe i should try full here okay that is perfect i want to make the background color further light so for that let me try 100 100 is too much light so i will add 200 and the padding is too much so maybe i should try py 1 and px maybe 2 or 6 maybe okay i also want to add margin bottom below the paragraph for that i will add mb5 okay in this way i can have multiple tags i will re reduce the px to 4 i guess i think that is fine and now let's have multiple tags i will just copy paste it and here i will have a different one travel winter etc uh okay i need to reduce the font size for all of these tags for that i will use font or uh, text sm okay but now gap is too much so i will reduce the gap from here or maybe it should be two okay i think this is now looking great as now our card is ready now we can have multiple cards so i can just copy paste it so for example this is my card i will cut it from here and paste it multiple times okay you can see we have multiple cards but these are stick to that together we want to add some gap so in the body we already have added flex so i will just use gap five and you can see there is a gap 
So now this is looking great. One last thing that I would like to implement is that when you hover on these tags, it should change the background color. Mm -hmm. So let me undo first uh, because, okay. So here I will add hover and BG. Uh, maybe I want to make it like that. And text should be white maybe. Yeah, that is fine. And also I want to add cursor pointer so that when you hover on that, a pointer cursor should be visible like this. Now I will copy paste all of these classes here as well. And here. Okay. Now you can see all of these are very interactive. And after that, you can again copy paste multiple times. <coughs> Okay, <laughs> let me add gap here again in the body. Okay, so this is now looking great. All right, a beautiful responsive card crafted with the power of Tailwind CSS. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Remember with the Tailwind, the possibilities are endless. You can customize and tweak your Hertz content. So I encourage you to get creative. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends and subscribe for more awesome content. Got questions or want to share your card designs? Drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.